Alright. So I think we're done with everything in here. So let's finish off with this. We're scared of Heimdall. There sure is a lot of food traffic here. There's even a bus stop. If we follow the road, we'll get to leaves, right? But if we walk, it takes hours. I wonder a monster lurks somewhere far off a side road. It's a type of dragon. It's gonna be formidable. Now we do apply what we've learned in the keep. Alright. Hey, my equip. I didn't put it back. It's a horse. Oh wait, go down. In there. Another truffle, maybe. Truffle. Truffle gas square. Oh. No, it's just the train. Chuck. Send it to Vivi now before I forget. <laughs> Little turkey. Anything back here? E got a turtle snake. Is this our truffle? Yeah. Need one more. Carol Imperial Illa. Thing this side? I don't think I'm supposed to come here. Okay. Pressure. Giant ass scorpion. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Wide open area. Perfect for a boss battle. Ah. Was that a man's voice? I don't think it has an auditory hallucination. Is it someone you know, Rin? You know everyone. The quicker decisions is made, the better it is. Oh, that guy. So fake. Uh, the boy, <laughs> double-headed dragon, is the one that won. Uh, I don't know, the plea of it sounds so fake. He looks like he's doing just fine. <laughs> Alright, class 7, subdue the target. Yeah, oh. Oh, it's big dragon. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What is this guy up to? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ちょうど皆さんが駆けつけてくださったおかげで。それで何をやってるんですか、トーマス教官。おや、そこにいるのはリン君。久しぶりですね。トールズの分校に就職したんですけ。教官の本校時代の。その通りです。はじめまして、新七組の諸君。元トールズ本校の歴史学教官、トマスライサンダーと言います。
After leaving the main campus, he went off and did some traveling. I toured historic sites, but after four months, I was broke. I was reluctantly making my way back to the capital on foot. And you're so different from Pro Professor Luckman. He's a teacher at the Imperial Academy after all. But if you were an in history instructor, does that mean you taught Professor uh, Instructor Reen everything he knows about Erebonian history? Well, I guess you can say that. I'd say it was because of the black records though. That's right, I couldn't be more proud as an instructor. In more recent news, we've defeated the wanted monster. Would you like to return to Heimdall with us? You're all just as kind as Reen. Let's go to Heimdall then. Feel free to use your orbital bikes by the way. What exactly are you planning? Nothing, nothing. This is all just a coincidence. Dominion, Dai Ni, Hakotsukai, Rai Sanda. Sore ga, watashi no seishiki na mibun to adana desu. Rosin's boss and a true believer of the mystery behind the black records. There must be a reason why he remained hidden until now. Hmm. Lysander kinda sus. Alright. I think. Oh, one has to walk back. Right then. Not walk. You can probably ride back. Sate! Tobasuze! Huh? Probably faster for me to just run back. Is this the right way? Oh no, this is the wrong way. <laughs> Move it, Toki. If you continue north, you'll end up at Carol Imperial Villa. What's that? A place where the Imperial family uses for events. So it's connected. It's open to the public this time of year. There's a special train at Heimdall Station you can take to get there. Alright, then why don't we go back ourselves a look? Why don't we go have ourselves a look and then take the train back? I'm a little interested. We're in the middle of special ops missions. Unfortunately, we must decline. Maybe next time then. Hmm. He's quite keen to go there, isn't he? We are here. I'm truly grateful to you all. Should have just left you there. Excuse me. There's a Schwarzer. Yes, Toa. Any time is a good time. We had some business to take care of on the highway. We just came back. So, what's up? I just wrapped up a call actually. I called home and was asked to come over for lunch. I told them about you and they I said I should invite you. Wouldn't that be a hassle? Auntie and uncle likes having guests over. Of course, only if you have time with your special ops missions. So how about it? Understood. I'll head to your house right now. So where is it? It's in the district you guys were at this morning. It's the Herschel's General Store at Vesta Street. So that place is your home after all. Alright, we are heading over now. I'll be waiting. Tee Was that instructor Toa? Are we headed somewhere? Yeah, actually. We're going there for lunch. Haven't seen Toa since she graduated. I wonder if it'll be alright if I came too. Thomas. No. Don't self-invite. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm just kidding. I should have to meet up with someone right now. Someone is quite stubborn and difficult to deal with. I'm sure they are in, cap in the capital somewhere, but our schedules just don't line up. If you say so. Get out of here. 
That's the tram that heads to the main street. Now if you'll excuse me, good luck with your field exercises. Yeah, goodbye. Here's a copy of my books. I was holding them for you. They're from Sister Rosine. Thank you so much. I'll update you on the newest books eventually too. The new class 7 looks like a nice group of kids. Hmm. He's so carefree. How did someone like that even get a job at the academy? He may not look like it, but he's quite strong. He once fought a magic knight with only an horrible staff. Whacked it. His appearance says otherwise. He may look easygoing, but his movements are extremely methodical. Can't judge a person solely by their looks. It's almost noon, so let's head to Vestat Street. It'd be rude if you showed up late. We don't need no tram, we just teleport there. Oh yeah, I mean for them I guess it's the tram. For us it's teleporting. Oh, Cute, they're almost the same height. <laughs> We know the students are treated to lunch on the second floor of the store towards family own. Aww. Sumimasen, you did meet us earlier today. Yeah,この子の後輩が灰色の騎士様っていうのは前から知ってたんだけど、まさか同じ植物とめになるなんてこれは呼ばなきゃと思ったのさ。ちょ、ちょっとおばさん。ふん。いい気になんなよ。リンシュバルツァ。いくら有名だって中身のないやつに問わねえちゃんは私ねえかな。もう、もう、かいくんも。お兄さんに失礼でしょ。I grew up at lively dinner tables like this, so I feel right at home. It's been some time since I've sat down to such an animated meal. Sorry, Kurt, you were waiting for your mom, weren't you? No, I told her I'd be heading back once we were done with our field exercises. Yum yum. Hey, can I get seconds over here? Of course, dear. I made plenty, so go right ahead and stuff yourselves. I hope you girls aren't holding back because you're worried about gaining weight or anything like that. No, if anything, I'd like to gain weight, actually. Oh, Tina, dear. Words like that are apt to make women around the world your, your enemies. <laughs> They're all a bunch of good kids. From the sound of it, the class she's in charge of is full of a bunch of uh, full full of a bunch of characters too. They're all hard workers, every one of them. Tua most of all though. She's helped me more times than I can count. She's pretty much always been like that. Her parents and her grandfather probably paid, played a big part in that. I see. She might have told you, but both her parents were scholars. But they passed away when she was young, so she was raised by her grandfather. She, he was a scholar too, pretty important in the scholarly world actually. He used to be a director at the Imperial Museum you guys visited this morning. Alright, I heard about that. He was a famous astronomer. Yes, but he too passed away a few years ago. He was already very intelligent, but after that she began studying even harder. To the point where she started to get top grades out of all the schools in Heimdall. I thought she'd be going to the Imperial Academy, but she took a scholarship to go to a military academy instead. At first I assumed she didn't she did it because she didn't want us to worry about paying her tuition, but it seems like she had a different reason. Ah. Oh. Come to think of it, I've never asked her why she chose to enroll at Taurus. I was worried about her since she has a habit of pushing herself too hard. As far as we are concerned, she's our adorable niece and an irreplaceable part of our family. I'll try to help her out as much as I can at work, how about that? Why do that? There's a much simpler way for a man to support a woman. Hint hint. Huh? She's a bit 
petite and childlike, but she's adorable and get and great at housework. You two work in the same place, so why not just take her as your wife and let her quit? Quit. <laughs> now, now, Martha. These days, it's perfectly normal for a husband and wife to work in the same place. Maybe until they have kids, but we could help you to take care of your little ones if you needed it. <laughs> Aunt Martha, Uncle Fred, stop! You're embarrassing me in front of my crush. After lunch was finished, coffee was served. The delicious aroma of roasted beans wafted through the house. Toa invited Rin to her room to discuss something. Oh, oh I lost some kids all of a sudden. So this is your room, huh? Family must really cherish her. There's so many books here. Do you buy all these? Oh wow. I can picture that. I've been wondering, what made you decide to go to military school? Huh? I mean, Taurus is a pre prestigious place and all, and graduates don't always join their military, but with your grades and how smart you are, you could have gone to any number of the prestigious schools. Why Taurus? Well, the scholarships were good at Taurus, but besides that, I figured that military matters were unavoidable here in Erebonia. Hmm? Maybe it's just nationalism or our country's traditions, but mar martial issues have always been highly valued here. There's the history of power struggle and rising arsenals between imperial army and the provincial armies. Then there's our hundred of years of conflict with Calvert. That's probably the biggest factor in our country being so wary. Personally, I don't like war, but I believe in this day and age, there won't be any avoiding it. Grandma told me that if you want to find the truth, you have to look for it in both the good and the bad. I think that might be why I chose Taurus. At the core of things like military or mar martial powers and martial arts is power, no, violence. Sorry, I probably shouldn't be saying things like this to someone who practices swordsmanship like you. Don't worry, I won't say any of this to the students. It's okay, I understand that feeling. But wow, fearing violence, yet trying to find answers by immersing yourself in it? That's not something you can do without the right amount of knowledge or determination. I'm impressed. I almost want to start calling you President Towa again. Hey. Oh, I almost forgot. Look over here, Rin. No, oh, that picture. Is that when... Is that when... Is that you when you were younger? Oh no, that wasn't it. Sorry for prying. I'd honestly like to get a closer look at these. Well, if you really want to, you can, but... These are your parents? Yeah, shortly after we took this photo, they got in an accident while traveling abroad. They were on their way back from the International Academy Conference in Crossbell when their airship crashed. I remember hearing that. This must be the grandpa I've heard so much about. It was grandpa's little girl, so I always was with him. We went to museums together, sometimes he'd sneak me in lectures. That's quite the childhood. Oh, this picture from the school festival. I've got the same one on my desk too. Come to think of it, this is the only picture we took with all of us together like this. Yeah, you're right. 
I have one from graduation too, but I like this one better. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Don't look at that one. That's from the concert footage from your first year you showed me, isn't it? It really is quite a bold costume. Green? Sorry, huh? Is this from your first year at the academy? I guess I've never shown it to you. We took this picture back when the four of us were testing the Arcus. Angie and George knew each other from their time in Rower. Crow and Angie were always fighting back then. But all his jokes and his laid-back attitude were just a cover-up for his true goals. Maybe Angie noticed that about him from the start, but Instructor Sarah taught us and we'd help each other out when we were in a pinch. The four of us were each in different classes, but we became best friends regardless. So, uh... That's why I understand why you feel the way you do about Class 7. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. It's a gift from me. This is... I wanna see too! Oh, pictures! After graduation, I asked Fidelio from the photography club to make a little album of Class 7. And he gathered up all the pictures taken by Rex, the other students and instructors. I thought this would be a perfect thing for when Class 7 got together again. Toa! Toa! Thank you, really, for everything. You guys worked so hard for over a year, this is the least I could do for you. Me, Angie, George, all the other students and instructors, even Crow. We all like seeing Class 7 happy and smiling together. I'll make sure they all see this. And early as tonight, pro actually. Provided I can get a hold of all of them, that is. I hope everything works out. Me too. Though I'll prioritize our field exercises, of course. So <laughs> ハナが聞くとかじゃねえのか。ひっそフェラモンリーの香水を試してみましょうか。すみません。ちょうど教官を呼びに来たところで。そ、そうそう。じゃあ、あなたもあれというか。てっきり二人して父くり合ってるかと
Not really keen, Ash. I've never seen him so happy before. Once that means kind of kinda of like to try it, but I'm worried about those agents. We should search for information that areas you haven't been to yet. You'll probably stop by Drejo's Plaza. Person who comes up in Erebonian history. It's the Lionheart Emperor. He's also the one who created Taurus. Hmm. Should definitely go there. Drejo's Plaza and the race course are pretty far from each other. How about we visit Drejo's Plaza first? Uh, you could stop by anywhere else we need while we do a voluntary requests and then finish up at the race course. Seems like the most efficient way. It would still be a wise use of our time. Alright. Rachel's Plaza first.